This is important. I know everyone's involved with the riots. I'm telling you, I need them down here now. Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... <sighs> Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets? No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. But Brick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kind of busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You gotta help me find Jacob. I have to admit, Nikki, I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was then. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly! And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. So why is it nobody trusts your source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perk facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet, and I don't think he's doing it now. How did White even manage to get his hands on explosives? My source says he got the bomb materials from some government stash out in Highland Park. It's all I know so far. But it all fits! He was last seen ranting at a rally about shattering the foundation of the hypocrisy or some bullshit like that. You know, quoting Che Guevara and talking about violent revolution? Did he have the shirt, too? What? Anyway. He practically named the date and time of this reckoning. And it's tonight. It has to be. What is it exactly that you need me to do? You mean you'll help me out? Really? I didn't say that. Assuming I did agree to help, what would you need me to do exactly? Oh. Well, based on Jacob's history and his new political agenda, I can almost guarantee he's going after cops. I've warned everyone working street detail and anyone else who'd listen to keep an eye out. But with half the force tied up with the protests and rioting, I can't get the manpower for a proper search. I need you to check a few spots my CI thinks Jacob could be at, and take care of the threat if you can. Even if you find nothing, great. It put my mind at ease at least. Nikki, look, I don't work for the city anymore, and I don't exactly have a lot of time right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Look, the cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it, but you kill a cop killer and you get a bounty. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but if Jacob really is going after us, then he's as good as dead as far as I'm concerned. You take him out, the bounty is yours. To be honest though, I'd rather see him rotting behind bars. If you can knock him out and give him to us alive, I'll try to sweeten the deal. Fine, I'll help. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy, hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me and... 
and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? The bomb could be right under us, right now! Nikki, relax. Keep it together. I'm trying, Adam. I don't think I'm cut out for this kind of stuff. People could die. We could die. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably going to be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, okay. But it could be anywhere. He wouldn't risk going to the precinct. Too many people would recognize him. And that leaves the transit station, the sewers, and the alleys around the precinct. Look, I need to stay here and report any leads to my CO. Can you check those locations for Jacob or his bomb? No problem. Anything else you can give me? I, uh, I don't know. You remember what White looks like, right? Tall, Caucasian, skinhead? He's not the quietest guy, so you'll probably hear him before you see him. Yeah, a real philosopher king. I remember. Yeah, so if you just keep your eyes and ears open, I'm sure you'll find him. Also, I heard he's had some major augmentation work done. I'd be extra careful around him. I think the white we used to know has been replaced with something much worse. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. I'll get back to you. What'll it be? Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs>
Bueno. What if this wasn't the first time? Some gang leader out of here could have profiles of every cop on the force. They may even know where we live. As long as the media doesn't get hold of this. If they do, we're gonna get reamed in public by the mayor. You know how much the commission loves that. We already got the feds in there, looking at us and shaking their heads like we're a bunch of naughty children.
Access granted. He's in a bunch of people. What were you doing out here, anyway? Stay quiet until the wagon gets here. Sure. 
sure you closed the door? Yeah. yeah. Of course I did. What do you think I am? An idiot? You're not going to make me answer that, are you? Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. Stop messing around! This is the spot, man. Keep looking. Someone's playing.
what's going on. Give me a second. Holy fuck! This is the spot, man. Keep looking. Someone's playing. I see you, crow. Have some of this.
And this is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. I say yes. If you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled to achieve. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Sarif's scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Sarif's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay alive long enough to tell him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So that's your plan? Just lay down and die so you can't be used again? That's bullshit. You need to face what's coming. There's a very thin line between martyr and victim, Sandoval. And if you pull the trigger, you won't be remembered as either. You certainly like taking chances, Mr. Jensen. But your point has merit. Maybe I did give up too easily. I made it my life's work to try and help people. But Humanity Front was losing people to the so-called enhancement industry every day. Those scientists were my last chance to stop the insanity, and I failed. If anything, my actions helped the pro-augmentation camp. So you've had a couple of setbacks. Your reputation is shot and you're going to jail. Fine. Killing yourself is not the way to find redemption. At least behind bars you still have a chance to help people. You're smart, healthy, and educated. You know that. You're right. And some people have found a strength in prison they never knew they had. Ha. Huh. Some doctor. Some Catholic I turned out to be planning and participating in a kidnapping that resulted in the deaths of innocent bystanders. I am a mass murderer. My wife, I, I don't deserve her. Losing her is a just punishment, 
Except I'm not man enough to face it. You think you're a failure, but you're not. You're just a man who doesn't understand his own potential yet. You can still channel your regrets into something positive. Be an example. Teach people why violence isn't the answer. You've suffered way too much to let all that experience go to waste. I don't understand. We're enemies, but you want me to live. I deserve to die. In fact, I welcome it. But you won't let me go that easily. You've assigned me a task I cannot refuse. Take the gun. You win. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen, the riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. Commented on the images. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. This company prides itself on maintaining a safe environment. And in every moment, at all times, we invite our and members of the UN to tour our facilities firsthand. They will find nothing. You don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sensed they were highly trained professionals. Working for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Nothing ever sticks. If I knew anything more, I would tell you. CEO but the men who kidnapped your people made sure my knowledge of their plans was minimal. I want the world to know that we at Taiyong Medical have not and never will condone these experiments. This
one will get hurt. Resisting arrest is a serious charge. What'll it be? Be sure to tell all your friends. They're just not the cops. <laughs> I really appreciate you helping us out, Adam, but we're running out of time. We gotta find White before he blows something up. We're in the clear. I left White unconscious in the sewers under the precinct. Thank God. The Chief finally took me seriously and is sending some men to help out. We'll take it from here. Great. Anything else? Yeah, like we talked about. Here's your cut of the Deadpool bounty. I threw in a little something extra for bringing him in alive. It's good to know you're still one of the good guys, Jensen. By the way, Nikki. White's bomb wasn't even explosive. It was a gas bomb. I managed to disable it, but you might want to get a disposal team down there to do a proper sweep and clean. Ah, shit! I totally forgot about that. I'll get EOD on it right away. Last thing we need are more casualties. Man, I'm sure glad I bumped into you tonight. You're gonna have to let me buy you a pint down at Maggie sometime. If I hang around you long enough, maybe some of that famous Jensen swagger will rub off on me. Yeah, we'll do that sometime. Take care of yourself, Nikki. Nora 92 to Central. Come in, Central. Over. Nora 92, this is Central. Over. That code 10 I called in earlier is actually gas ordinance. We need EOD down there for cleanup, stat. Tell first response to keep their hands off, and we should quarantine the block just to be sure. Over. 10 4, Nora 92. Thanks for the heads up. Stand by for updates. Central out. Thanks for trusting me, Jensen. I won't forget it. We lost a good man when you went private, Jensen.
You've got no right! Resisting arrest is a serious charge! Thousands of angry rioters took to the streets in several cities this evening after viewing controversial satellite footage uncovered by Python. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You said it. 